All right, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back for another episode of Solo Challenge, Terraforming Mars, baby. Terractor, imagine we had Earth Office to stack with this. No, but we do have money back on space events. Mining Guild? No placement. Sorry, was there a placement um, in here? There is restricted area. Lava tube. Lava tube can't even go on the metals here. It has to go on this one. So, I don't know. I don't know about this one, gang. Double oceans is nice. Just not having so many, like, any placements out the gate seems so weak. Whereas Terraptor, 60 bucks. I mean, what are we gonna get done? We're gonna get optimal, we're gonna get restricted. I mean, it's not that good either way, honestly. This is a pretty poor um, start. So let's just take Mining Guild to be cool, I guess. I don't know that we need extra steel or extra energy. I think I'd rather get the extra one energy or steel. Uh, probably just grab all energy here. And then, yeah, space event stuff is fine. Um, lava tube settlement is fine. And yeah, we're going pretty lean to start. We have a lot of steel. Um, for the sake of argument, let's restrict the area first. And just grab some stuff. Methane from Titan. I don't hate that either. Let's overpay. And now we have three steel income per turn. We live and we die by the building tag. If we can get building tags, we are in. Um... Two oxygen bumps doesn't seem like a bad place to rush. There's no real ocean reasons or reasons to rush ocean. Um, Immigrant City, I guess, is a placement. Orbital Reflectors, fine. Um, I can't put the city here. So the only metal placement I can put it on is here or here. I probably would rather be up in that corner. Um... I'm going to lose income to get steel income, though, if I do this, which is probably not a good trade. So let's just pass for a turn. See if we can get another city card. That would be nice. I'm just adding to the types of cards that could benefit us right now. Shuttles is a discount. Robotic Workforce could copy a pretty lackluster card, uh, if I'm honest. If I took nothing, I could get Methane from Titan. And I probably will. It's kind of lame, but just uh, I didn't I didn't like the shuttles even. I was like, nah, it's fine. I will take an ocean here in case we can get an ocean placement there. Um, this is nice. It uses steel. This is a wild tag in case we need it. Heat bump, card draw, space elevator. We are in a business. So now we have a sink for our steel. Now we want to play. Um, now we want to get as much steel income as we can. How do we feel though? This is Gen 4. Our, our economy, pretty weak overall, 2, 3, 1. Especially considering that we're Mining Guild. Only having 3 steel income is pretty god awful. Uh, if I do say so myself. We do have a Titanium income, which is okay I guess. We have tons of energy and good heat and now good... Uh, plant income so that's really strong for us we don't have a ton of terraforming we do have a double ocean double heat and we do have a double venus but no tappable heat bumps or venus bumps or anything like that we do now have a space elevator though so the economy is a lot stronger and buying two cards per, or a card per turn is pretty good so i think that we're actually like again we're gonna live and die by the steel tags but uh, we're not in such a bad spot. I'm going to take a heat bump so that we get a free heat income from the track. Uh, this takes steel, so we'll take it. This is a space event, so we can eventually get a rebate on it. I forgot to mention, yeah, we do have eventual rebates coming. So, that's uh, it's not so bad. Two more plant income could really hit the spot for us. And then one, two, three cities in the game. Martian rails. That is certainly gonna be okay. We don't have enough for a heat bump this turn, so it doesn't make sense to get that. Maybe. 
I'm tempted to put an ocean here to put the greenery or the city beside it. But no, I'm just going to bump Venus for a little bit here. Rover construction, titanium mine, and mine. All of this is building tags, so we're taking them. Mining industries is awesome, but it's way too late for that to be a thing for us. I do like IO mining industries as a theme, but we just didn't get it. Um, Earth tag is lovely. We do like that. This is not a city, unfortunately. So I will just put the greenery up here for those two steel. Um, I don't need immigrant city right now. It's better to get these mines. So a titanium mine and a steel mine. Uh, I'm not buying a city this turn, which means just geothermal power and then get some more money. Earth office is high on my list, but let's just wait one more turn. I might end up playing some space events here soon. Let's take the heat bump so that we're one away on the heat uh, bonus. Another space event here. We love that. Another building tag with a placement. That one can grab this steel. It cannot grab this one. It could grab this titanium. Uh, building tag. Anytime it's a building tag, we basically want to grab it, especially if it has a point. Adapted lichen is interesting, but it's a little bit too out there for me right now. Am I buying a city? Maybe. Yeah, okay, I'll bite. So rover construction, immigrant city. We grab this steel placement. We get our money back for cities in play. And then we go down with this natural preserve and we put it here for a titanium. That's getting us a lot of titanium at this point. So we're feeling pretty good. Um, and I would like to start doing some bump stuff. So optimal arrow breaking and then three titanium into you gives us a Venus bump and then the heat and the money back. Earth is close. This is close. Everything's nice. I think that we're in a good spot. Now that we got a couple more placements on the board, I don't feel so bad. Uh, we'll take a Venus bump, though, just so we can get this extra card faster. Lake Mariners, Mars University, and a power plant. Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I have it? Um, What's first, though? This spin-inducing asteroid seems pretty nice. Unless I can somehow get the towing of common stuff, but I don't have oceans to place besides, so... Spin-inducing asteroid. Cost a business network. I think with Earth Office, we can play that and not feel so bad about it. Oh, I forgot to sell and buy. A space event with an Earth tag is nice. I'm not looking for charter grades. Let's get our money back. I don't need this energy. I would rather get a card cycle um, by getting rid of this one. Caretaker contract. I mean, that can be helpful. It would have been helpful in the last couple games I played, but it's, it's, it's okay. Is there, there is steel for me to pick up down here. It's not going to help me with end game scoring, but it is going to just make my steel income go up to eight. And now you know why. Like, I've paid every building tag I have, and I still have, or rather, I only have great dam left. And I'm, I'm looking good. Like, I still have eight steel income, you know? Like, if we can get a city card, you know, we're going to have rovers. We're going to have everything going for us. Uh, I'm going to get another ocean, though, because we're going to need help there soon. So, we don't have much time left. So I'm, now I'm quite concerned that we're just going to, if we don't get any cards that are worth playing, we are going to find ourselves in a bad way. Uh, this is two points on it, so I will take it for the end of the game. So how do we get through this then? Orbital Reflectors has heat income on it. Let's do that first. I don't have another Venus bump in hand, so let me just do one Venus air scraping. Um, manually. 
and then yeah i think that from now on the government needs to help us with oxygen probably ai central steel gets us cards lovely magnetic shield i mean that's pretty good by all my accounts draw a card sell steel what do we have nothing too notable look at a card probably good for the end of the game AI central that's 10 steel and a dollar uh, we're not likely to have caretaker contract be that helpful but yeah we only have two productions so even like molehole area like we're just so far behind right now it's not good it's really not good um maybe if i allow myself to tow a comet here get a little bit of money a little bit of space event worms even with the wild tag i'm not getting two income yet All right, I'll bite on Inventor's Guild. It's a card cycle right away, and it's uh, and it's a look at a card and see if we want it. Situation. Heather, yes. Heather, right now. I know I have these decomposers, but I don't feel that we're so strong in terms of uh, cash monies for anything else. Okay, those two cards would be good. More oceans in here would be nice. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I need... I'll just take a Venus bump for now because I'm annoyingly at the break point here for, for this. Venusian plants, fine. I mean, this is building tags, but at this point, buying the cards is not super bueno for us. Sulfur eating bacteria. Venus magnetizers are always very helpful. Venus soils would be helpful if we had something else. I mean, at least we can play money microbes. I'm not going to go for you, even though I have decomposers. Um, I can still play electro catapult. So, yeah, sure. We put eight steel into it, and then we sell two steel per turn. So yeah, Venus Magnetizer, that's nice. Sulfur Eating Bacteria. And then yeah, I mean this is now $6 back with those money microbes. Also though, if I played research coordination and worms i would get two more plant income which really isn't that great let me just take the uh venus soils let's get uh one more microbe on it for the last gen we'll do some of this two more steel While we wait for all these oceans to get placed, because that's totally going to happen. Just, just trust me, bro. Um, I'll take another plant and a point, but I don't, I don't really like how this is looking. I do not at all like how this is looking. Uh, I think I still need an ocean. But I still need a lot of Venus, and I need a lot of oxygen. seven percent so you you oh i don't have an energy to get money for cities that was a mistake getting one extra plant was not worth it pets is a no windmills is a no 
big space event right now. Giant ice asteroid. Let's just make a big pocket for this greenery. Um, I need another heat bump. Make another great pocket for this greenery. Lake Marineris, get some card draw. Hmm. So remember, anytime we get microbes, it's really good for us. So imported nitrogen, for instance, even if we don't get the animals, the three microbes is worth nine bucks. So pretty hard to say no to that because it is still basically the better half of a greenery. Um, anything else? Like, Extrema Files breaks even if I play it and then use it on my other microbe card. Obviously, Venusian Plants is going to get us $3 back, so that's nice. But yeah, now we're still in a, a dead spot here, unfortunately. Still in a dead spot, and we need a lot more. Now, with this uh, two energy, I can get a Venus bump. And for the sake of argument, extremophiles, there you go. And then boom, we sell eight microbes. $24, it's enough for like a greenery. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't have viral enhancer, so grass isn't actually enough. on its own. <laughs> With $41, what do we do? Just buy two greeneries kind of thing or as many greeneries as we can, like Because I'm pretty sure I could buy grass and buy a greenery, get some, or buy an ocean even. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the last ocean. And then grass. And then we just lose, right? Because like, there's no way of doing everything. So, two points or one point. Or, yeah. I mean, we may as well take the two points. Green right here. Nice knowing you, game. Nice knowing you. Um, so yeah, so this might be a zero out of three after just having had a trifecta. Sure is how it feels. 86 points. We're like seven steps away from terraforming the planet. We're like six steps away uh, from having enough TR, and I'm 14 steps away from having 100 points. That was not a game. That was a slaughter from the game to us. We got beat up. We had, we had no chance. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.